Hey, what's up, Scott Ball? Welcome here with Imagination Creation Films. And today, well, it's not about me at all. In fact, it's 100% about Grossman. And he's about to un unbox live for you the uh, w w one of the first red Komodos out there in the world. And, uh, you know, Philip, it, here, enjoy. It's your world. Okay, thanks. I I've never un quite understood unboxing videos, but I know people like them. And I'm unbelievably humbled and honored that, that Jared named the first custom color after me. Uh, and mine arrived today, of course. Phil Holland lives in, in, uh, in LA, so he was closer. So technically, he's the first to get it. But he he's well deserving as well. And he's going to do far deeper tests than I'm going to do. So I'm just going to open up. I have no idea what's actually in this box other than the camera. Um, so we'll go from there. I've got two different views. So Ooh. here we go. Uh, exercise knife safety now. Oh yeah. <laughs> they tape this thing up well. Did you uh, check it for radiation? Maybe? Uh, yeah. It was fine. There's nothing in my, my house. In fact, most of my stuff from Chernobyl is actually pretty low. <laughs> well, you got a crowd now. Yeah. And this is my, my favorite knife. They don't make it anymore. It's a little Gerber. I don't even know what the model is, but this thing, this is the best knife. It's traveled with me to Chernobyl. It's super well, sharp. Yeah. I love that, that like thing. It's like a throwing knife almost. Yeah. It's so tiny. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Vince, Vince just wants you to know that watching an unboxing is the stupidest thing he's going to do today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vincent. Well, you, you know, I'm actually going up in a helicopter on Wednesday to redo with the Komodo what I learned from you, Vincent. Oh, my God, it's probably been 12, 14 years ago. Uh, well, 2008, so... 12-ish years ago when you came to Atlanta Celebrates Photography and you showed uh, um, your aerial stuff. I'm like, I'm a pilot. I know uh, uh, other pilots with helicopters. I think I can try this. Uh, and you motivated me. So thank you. <laughs> and I'm honored that you're here. You got 100 people watching right now. It's, I, it, it did, I, we were wondering if it was going to come in a box because we knew that the boxes were coming in late. Vincent says, good luck on your flight. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. It's sealed for your protection. Yeah. So as, as uh, Mr. Holland had mentioned, it is a white box with a sort of lizard skin finish to it, which is not going to really nice. show up in 720p. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, here we go. So it does have instructions on inside the box on how to use the camera. Oh, oh man, that color <laughs> is so awesome. So there, I cannot believe how small this thing is. Oh my God. I mean, that is, that is tiny. This is, Traveling across uh, the desert in Kazakhstan is never going to be the same. <laughs> and there's your, your door on the side for your CFAS cards. SDI, DC. So we've got the camera. We've got a D-tap power cord. Awesome. We've got a set of caps because the Canon adapter, RF adapter is already on there. We've got the uh, power cord, the red sticker that you have to have. <laughs> wow, this, that's a tiny power brick. That is nice. What is the output power on that brick? One second, let me pull it up. They really got this thing packed. They did a nice job boxing these things. You got, you got 140 people watching. So, I'm so blind. It is 15 volt, 3 amp, 45 okay. watt. Right. So that's wow. a nice, that, is, that thing is tiny. Right. 
And you got to figure then that they're going to overpower it from the uh, AC adapters. So that means their power draw on this thing is not much. Yeah, not at all. So that is everything in the box. Wow. So we'll set this box down for a second just so people can see. I will switch cameras. So that's it. That thing is tiny. I think about maybe two pounds and it's solid it's metal except for the yep and that color is just sick <laughs> yeah they love the color <laughs> yeah so grossman gold not so safety orange oh man so that's it guys the official unboxing of my komodo so i think some of you guys know that i'm going to do a, a, a um, zoom q a tonight i I haven't booted this up, which is par for course. So the history of me with red, some of you may know the story, got my first red in 2016, traveled to Chernobyl, did not turn the camera on until I was sitting in the hotel room in the village of Chernobyl. And I did read the manual and I've been using cameras for a long time, but the goal was to see how well I could uh, get that camera up and running. And it really is not that difficult. I was horrible on focusing, focusing in 8K, unbelievably hard. Um, to learn, but this thing, this thing is, it is nice. I can see why it says it. I mean, that's, that's solid. It looks, it's very shiny too. Look at that. Yeah. That it's got nice a bit of a, finish. got a bit of a gloss finish to it. Yeah. Dedicated buttons on the top. The only thing that, yeah, it's going to need a good, someone's going to have to make a really good um, cage for it. You know, it's got two, two quarter 20 mounts on the top um, for the monitor. So I'm going to spend some time today rigging this thing up, figuring out how best to uh, get it mounted in different ways, put some handles and some screens on there. Make it Go small. There. Work, but exactly. Useful. Exactly. And so I mean, where can they, where can they find your zoom call for like, cause you got 165 people right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I posted the zoom on the Komodo group. Uh, so it's there eight o'clock tonight. Um, I'll post it on my regular Facebook page. I guess I'll, I'll probably post it on, on I, Instagram and Twitter as well. I would post to the red yeah. users. And yeah, and the red, red users. And red yep. DSMC too as yep. well. So I, I will try and play with it as much as possible till then uh, and mm -hmm. give you guys my first impressions. Um, this thing is, man, this thing is solid. It is solid. They, oh. Somebody asked how the door feels. The, the door, it is metal. Asked if it, if it felt like it would pop open, maybe. No. No, you really, you really have to press on that. On the, they have a fair amount of travel for that to move. So, and it's nice. You can actually, if you're worried about it, put a little piece of tape over that. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it, there's a fair amount of travel for that thing to open up. Well, you should have your tape so. on there anyway with your, uh, your, your media yeah cable. yeah i always do uh mic and and uh headphone jack on the side it's nice and on the back it does have dc in external and are, sdi are you going to peel the sticker off the the screen quietly no i always mm -hmm. use it yeah i'll do that <laughs> <laughs> i gotta find the edge of it the thing is on there okay here we go That's Very nice. Quiet. Very yeah. Quiet. Yeah. It's, it definitely is going to need a cage for, for rigging things out. Although, a, uh, just a handle on the side and a monitor, and this thing is good to go. And it, it's finally a camera that's small enough. So, I'm eventually going to do a, an overview of, of my um, f stop gear bags, which I love. Mm -hmm. And this is finally a camera that's small enough that can be rigged with a lens sitting in the bag. And then I can actually open up the back and just pull it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I will get test footage up for everybody. I'm going to, uh, I've got a helicopter scheduled, uh, I think for Wednesday, weather permitting. Going to stick this thing on my Ronin S uh, and try and simulate uh, Phil Holland. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you, obviously, Phil Holland has one, and, and he's going to put this thing to a, a, a much more detailed test than I'm going to do. I'm going to be more of a... Uh, 
qualitative, he's going to be quantitative. Um, and I'll give you guys my impression as a doc filmmaker, the stuff I kind of use. Now, we all know it's, the firmware in here is, is, is beta. Um, so there, it's going to keep updating, uh, obviously, over time. Um, but man, this thing is sweet. It's got two M4s on either side. Yeah, it's going to need a really nice, nice uh, cage made for it, and this thing will be fantastic. Tim, Tim's like helicopter on Wednesday? <laughs> and I might have to do an R44 because their R22 is, uh, is um, in maintenance, so there might be room. Yeah, R44 mm -hmm. has an extra seat for you there, yeah. Timmy. Yeah. Yep. Quality over quantity for sure. Man, I'm so I'm so honored that Jared made this color for me. And obviously, you know, I got one of the first ones. I'm looking to see, you know, I don't. It's well deserved. I mean, you, you've you've so sacrificed so much to get that color. Yeah. <laughs> it's serial number 10. Nice. <laughs> so this thing, it is, it is solid, guys. It really is a solid camera. Um, 175 people on here now. <laughs> wow. So, all right. Well, I want to go play with this thing now. So you guys all go back to work or go back to quarantine or whatever's going on in your world. Um, and then we can do a more uh, uh, interactive thing tonight. Um, on Zoom, Zoom call. Yep. Make sure you're following him on Facebook at least, and he'll post yep. the Zoom call. I'll I'll share it out as well. Yep. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I appreciate you uh, doing this. You know, just sure. here for everybody because these are uh, 176 people now. <laughs> 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 oh my god, they're just flying in the questions. How can I upgrade my Raven? Yeah. They're not doing an upgrade program. Yeah. So I'll show you. So this is everything that that came in the box. So which the, uh, which RF the EF is that that just it's regular this, one? this the regular one yeah I yeah. actually purchased the uh, control ring one as well yeah um, I'm gonna get the 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 uh, ND one um, mm -hmm. right now I just because I didn't want to spend the extra money to get the clear filter as well which because right. you have to use you have to have both uh, like but another 150 bucks isn't it yeah uh, and my understanding from some from friends at Canon is that. Uh, there are some other companies going to be making filters for it as well. So that should right. be really cool. So, I mean, that, that power brick is tiny. That's a cool little package, man. That's, that's... Oh, oh, cool. So it's also got two little universal uh, adapters. Well, these are actually kind of interesting because they are... So you've got European... All the various European, and then you've got universal one on this side. You know, they'll go together depending on which way. I guess you get it this way. Um, so I, this is actually, that's actually really nice. So be over and bring the adapter if you want, <laughs> the, yeah. or the ND, ND filter. Yeah. So <laughs> actually, the best thing I've ever bought for all the travels I do is a small power strip that is uh, 120 to 240 volt and is universal fittings. And that, that thing is awesome. So, um, all right, guys. Yep. All right, Philip. Appreciate you, you buddy. And yeah, well, thank you, guys. Philip's channel, and because more of this is coming. So, just a quick one. Just everybody have a good time. All right. And we'll see you. I'm going to end this real quick.